The Department of International Relations at the American University of Kuwait recently organized a discussion entitled Chemical Warfare, Myths and Misconceptions. The discussion was conducted by Dr. Hamad al Hassawi, who is a former chemical warfare defense advisor for the Ministry of Defense. The discussion was aimed at offering the community clarity in terms of chemical warfare and their consequences. More on this report with our correspondent, Rinwa Jabouri. A timely talk and discussion on the use of chemical warfare agents by Dr. Hamad al Hassawi proved to be most enlightening as the ex-chemical warfare defence advisor for the Kuwait Ministry of Defence discussed the myths and misconceptions of chemical warfare in depth, offering the audiences important information that was aimed at clarifying many issues about the use of chemical weapons. Well, I think it's a very timely event, and uh, this is the first of the talks at AUK this academic year, the 10th year of AUK, and uh, it's being sponsored by the International Relations Department here at the university. So I look forward to hearing what he has to say. In his discussion, the expert placed the use of different types of chemical warfare agents and their effects in historical context and discussed the advantages and disadvantages, the criticisms and the tactics of using of chemical warfare agents. Uh, basically, the main highlights of uh, the uh, presentation today is the different types of uh, chemical warfares and the uh, uses of those chemical warfares, uh, how the general public can protect themselves from uh, such uh, uh, notorious uh, substance and uh, as well as uh, giving everybody the uh, comfort regarding understanding the myths and the misconceptions about about the chemical warfare. Lots of people think that for example if uh, uh, God forbid uh, a missile uh, uh, equipped with, with certain chemicals uh, that everybody is going to be uh, uh, destroyed or uh, or dead, uh, which is untrue, completely untrue. Uh, as as we know, that people who are protected, uh, following instructions uh, during crises such as uh, the use of chemical warfare, they would be uh, highly protected. Uh, this is a complete integrated uh, network of emergency plan within the government and as a result you know everybody is going to be educated and uh, uh, understanding the procedures and the steps that they need to take. Dr. Hassawi concluded his invaluable discussion by describing how civilians can be protected in the event of a chemical attack by terrorist groups or during a war. Raising awareness about the myths and misconceptions of chemical warfare was the main objective behind today's in-depth discussion. This is Geno Jaburi reporting to you from the American University of Kuwait for the English News.